Hi everyone! In this video I'd like to talk to you about ethos or credibility in persuasion. So if you remember from the readings there are really three methods of persuasion, ethos, logos, and pathos. So this video is going to focus on the ethos or the credibility of the speaker. Because really you're not going to be persuasive if your audience doesn't view you as credible to speak about your topic. So what do we mean by credible? Basically what we mean by credible is just someone who the audience feels is qualified to speak on their topic, is trustworthy, and is enthusiastic. And I'll explain each one of those three in detail here in this video. Those are known as the three C's, competence, character, and charisma. Those are really the three things that make up credibility. In general, when I mention credibility, you probably thought of competence. So someone who's competent, someone who has an advanced degree in their field that they're, and they're speaking about that topic. You might think of them as being credible. Um, or someone that has a lot of experience on a particular topic. If you know someone who's really like the expert on fishing, you might believe what they say because you think that they're a fishing expert. They've been fishing a very long time. They know everything about fishing. They're your go-to person when it comes to fishing. They have credibility in fishing. In, well, they have competence in fishing, I guess I, I should say. Because competence isn't the only part of credibility. Uh, there are really two other important factors when it comes to credibility. The second one being character. Someone might have a lot of experience doing something. Someone might have great enthusiasm doing something, but maybe you don't trust them. Thus, you're not going to listen to what they have to say because you're not going to find them credible. So let me give you an example of this. Without getting too political here, uh, Donald Trump is a great example of a speaker who is lacking character. A lot of people perceive Donald Trump as untrustworthy for a variety of reasons. Thus, he's a great example of someone that we don't necessarily all feel is um, credible to be president. However, he may have competence, he may have the experience, he may have the degrees necessary, and he may have enthusiasm and the charisma, but lacks that character of trustworthiness. So that last aspect in is the charisma, and that is how enthusiastic or excited we are or how dynamic we are as a speaker. In general, you're going to be more persuasive the more dynamic you are. And You've probably seen this in class before, to use a non-persuasive example. If you've been in a class with someone who they have a PhD, they're like the top person in their field, but when they teach they just speak with a monotone and go like this, you sometimes wonder like, do they really know what they're talking about? Should I really listen to them? Do you want to listen to them? Mm. Yeah, maybe if they, you know, they're really interesting because um, they have a lot of knowledge, but they don't present it well, you're not gonna, you're gonna lose interest in, with your audience quickly and your audience will not perceive you to be as credible. The opposite goes there too. So if you have a speaker that maybe doesn't have a lot of competence, like they're not you know, the top of their field, they, they know some, but they're like a really dynamic speaker who's you know, really enthusiastic, this is describing myself here, they also will be more persuasive than the one who's kind of the monotone. Um, just because a lot of times our delivery and our dynamic and our enthusiasm can really be very persuasive in and of itself. But all three really go together, the competence, the character, and the charisma. Now I do want to make sure that I mention and that I clarify that credibility is in the eyes of the audience. So I don't have any credibility. I don't possess any credibility. It's your perception of the credibility as that whether I'm credible to speak about this topic. I can tell you all sorts of things about myself, but that doesn't make me credible. I'm only credible if you think I'm credible. So keep that in mind as you go along too. Uh, you want to, you know, even if you're, you don't feel you have a lot of competence, character, and charisma, your goal is to at least make the audience think you have competence, character, and charisma to become a credible speaker and be persuasive with your ethos. 